Hi guys, welcome to the Quint. Koi kuch bol do. Yeah. Hi. This is fine. This is fine. Hi, Sophia. <laughs> Um, it's a it's a big day. Uh, first, tell me, uh, Leander and uh, Mahesh, are you guys comfortable with the camera now, talking to the media? I mean, uh, all all good now after you have spent so much time with Nitesh and Ashwini. I think Nitesh and Ashwini should uh, answer that. She's already laughing over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just remembering that shots uh, which we took of uh, you uh, and uh, <laughs> no in uh, Uttarakhand. Remember. <laughs> Yeah. Leander, I think, is more comfortable than Mahesh. Mahesh just needed yeah. a little bit to Le open up. And Leander's, then... a, Leander's a natural. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's being very brave since he's on Zoom chat right now, no? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. Let's start with the idea. Aya kaise aur kiske dimag mein aaya? Who was the person who thought of this? Ki bhai, let's turn this life into a web series. Good question. Yeah, my <laughs> who, 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 who idea was that. it? So basically, think, uh, we both. I guess yeah. I think. Basically, yeah. we both have uh, been uh, getting offers as individuals as well as you know as a duo, and a lot of offers have come from Bollywood to make a feature film and to uh, tell the story. But the story is just so large, uh, Abira. You know, it's just so big, and it's fifteen, twenty years of not just tennis performance. But also seeing each other through the highs and the lows, and the families have been involved, the coaches, trainers, friends have been involved. So to tell this story in ninety minutes or in two hours is not going to do it justice. Also, the most important thing for me was to have the right team. I've always believed in teamwork. I've always believed that the strengths of the individuals in the team make the project magical, and to have Ashwini and Nitesh Bhai. come on board and tell us what they thought about our story you'll be surprised to to know how much tennis they actually know nitesh bhai was like an encyclopedia of tennis stats boris becker john mackenro bjorn borg mahesh leander navrati lova uh, ashwini was a little more candid and said i just like federer let's talk about him <laughs> um ali has promised me something i hope one day and we've got the outfit ready too you've got the outfit ready yes <laughs> gifted me a red sari so wow to, he and kim have uh, gifted me a red sari which i will wear when i meet the fed mujhe le jana saath mein yeah that's i'm worried uh, i'm yeah. worried where this conversation is going nitesh sir i think uh, you better put a stop to this so i think you used to this i call you bhai don't worry nitesh bhai i got your back <laughs> no no i, I he is very used to this i am worried about my break point now <laughs> <laughs> uh, so really coming back to it this whole uh, storyboard needs episodes to depict itself you know the the media have covered so extensively the wins on the court the losses on the court they've speculated so much on why there was a break point on why there was a break break up many times but really the the magic in this story that you're going to see in break point is the way that ashwini and nitesh have taken you along the journey and told different perspectives of the parents the coaches the trainers the the families the our opponents that we've played against the woodies the the brian twins on what were their perspective again on leander and mahesh what did they feel when we did not show up to defend our title at wimbledon you know what did they feel when they partnered some of us so the nuances of this story have been so magically captured um that it takes the viewer through a real journey of uh, leander mahesh that being said i feel like for us also to revisit issues and conversations that we have been revisited for 20 years gave us a, a chance to heal gave us a chance to maybe confront each other maybe maybe a chance to laugh at ourselves maybe a chance to even laugh together at yaar apne kya kiya maine bhi kya kiya so it's a it's a great healing process also uh you know that's exactly what i was going to ask you you know you split as a double pair 
was public but you coming together was done behind the scenes so was this series the reason that you guys patched up or was it back um you know before this it happened what was it like and what is the status now the relationship status right now between leander and mahesh that is always going to be undecided <laughs> uh, <laughs> no i think uh, so i mean obviously uh, you know we were brought together for uh, you know this uh, project i mean when when it was brought to us individually then we got on a call and we you know then quickly you know nitesh and ashwini were brought into it and then you know it started looking larger than life and an amazing opportunity for us to tell the story like leander said i think we've both been approached multiple times and we never really took it seriously because i didn't think leander would want to do it he probably didn't think i would want to do it but you know when when you have nitesh and ashwini at the table you know we took that extra effort and extra time to speak to each other multiple times to say you know this is the right this is the right uh, thing to do and uh, answer a lot of questions that people have had for many many years right and uh, i'm glad we did it now you know the last 18 months has been an amazing journey of reliving the last 20 years of uh, our careers and uh, you know hopefully everyone enjoys it so i'm going to move on to the filmmakers ashwini ye jab aaya when these two came up with the story ki i want nitesh and ashwini what was your reaction okay so it came on an afternoon phone call right after we were cooking food and we washed the vessels and everything and uh, we got a call uh, from um, uh, the collective artist uh, and it was it said that uh, do you want to make uh, the a story on mahesh bhupati and leander pace and uh, it will be the first time with both of you all can direct it together and tell the story together so i was like wow this seems interesting on a normal afternoon day after after washing the vessels <laughs> you <laughs> and everything <laughs> and uh, so I i'm imagining to, it in my head uh, i go to i uh, go to nitesh and uh, i think nitesh had just finished and he was having his mithai that one mithai in the afternoon <laughs> and i say uh, listen uh, this i just got this call and uh, what do you think he just looked at me just was sochne wali kya baat hai yes it was like almost like ki a uh, marriage proposal or yeah hai na uh, like almost like uh, will you marry me types <laughs> so <laughs> like ha ah, okay this and is then this this is the fastest yes both of us would have said to anything yeah this yes uh we are a uh, um, big uh, uh tennis fans we uh and we follow and we have a group where we literally discuss all this and uh, all kinds of sports but uh, predominantly cricket tennis and football and uh, th- this is how it happened it just happened in like exactly 5 minutes and i completely agree with what lee was saying is that uh you know when you go down a memory lane a lot and especially it i maybe it was just a serendipity that all of it came during this pandemic is because it was almost going back and relooking at a, maybe a lot of conversations a lot of things about how partnerships are built and uh, what is there uh, for the future generation to learn for this younger generation of our country to learn and um, it 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 had a lot of thought pondering moments is because there would be a lot of things of which they would say and you would like actually think about it that you know there's a lot of if and buts that if it it was like this then what so there is there is a there's a very famous saying you know all you see is two people holding the biggest trophies but what you don't know is how many years of hard work what all pressures what all blood and sweat which has gone into it how many non believers would have tried to pull them down self doubt so so what it is you know see it's very easy to see you know somebody achieving something but what this does is the pressures of reaching there and the bigger pressure of holding on to it 
uh, guys, uh, can you tell me a little about your journey? Like through the players as teammates, when did you guys start realizing that this is the partnership? Uh, I think Lee should take this one because he realized a lot before I did. <laughs> <laughs> So, 1990 February, uh, I was in Sri Lanka playing the Asian Championships and I was all of about 16 years old. Mahesh was 15. And uh, I just come out of the Australian Open Finals and Davis Cup. And then when I got to Sri Lanka, my first day there, I saw this chubby young Indian kid hitting backhands, you know, from one corner. And I had a vision, an intuition that... This kid and myself could win Wimbledon together. So I stopped in my tracks and I wow. walked 15, 20 minutes. And I said, okay, that backhand's pretty good. He's tall. He doesn't move as well. But then when our eyes met and we said hi to each other, we introduced ourselves to each other. My instinct was, would you like to win Wimbledon together? And he burst out laughing. And he said, you're crazy. So I said, yeah, sure, I am crazy, but would you like to win Wimbledon together? And uh, we went on with the rest of the week. And then later that year, we, went, we met at Wimbledon. We shared a badge. We shared a, lock, uh, uh, a room that we stayed in. We shared some, some food together. We practiced together. And then over the next 15 years, we have created a partnership that persevered to make those dreams come true. And that's the one respect that I will always have for Mahesh and his family and the team, that they believed in my dream as a 16-year-old kid. And Mahesh put in the sweat and the blood and the hard yards. That when you watch this in, I believe, episode four, when you watch Wimbledon, you'll see the look on both our faces, the disbelief on his face when we won it. Uh, both of us sitting on the bench, looking at each other, saying, Are, ab, dono ne kya kiye abhi? <laughs> you know, two brown boys just conquered the white man's world of tennis. And then when we stood on the court with the Wimbledon trophies in our hands, uh, it's priceless. I still remember that. I remember that picture in my head. Uh, the last question, you know, looking back, uh, do you both feel that the breakup could have been avoided? I think... Uh... Of course, it could have been avoided. I think every, any breakup, if it's uh, intervened in time, can be avoided uh, on or off the court. Uh, I think uh, in hindsight, which when we look back, uh, you know, if we had someone mature enough and someone who we both respected enough to kind of take the bull by the horns and address it uh, in the right ways, it probably would have been uh, avoided. But we didn't. You know, it was just like Leander said multiple times, you know, we prepared, we worked hard to win these big titles and we didn't really know what to expect and how to deal with everything that came with that uh, as baggage and uh, you know it's it's a, it's a life lesson for us but uh, i think we're definitely wiser for it with that we come to the end of this interview thanks Abira. thank you thank you thank you, thank you so thank much you,